Welcome to the Arizona Department of Education's video on the State Seal of Biliteracy. In today's video, we will examine what is the Seal of Biliteracy, we'll understand the requirements needed to earn the Seal, and last, understand the goals of the Department of Education going forward for the Seal. So what is Arizona's Seal of Biliteracy? Three years ago, the Arizona State Legislature created SB 1239. This law created a seal of biliteracy that Arizona public school students could earn when they graduate high school if they met certain criteria. All public school districts and public charter schools may choose to opt into this program. You would fill out a form of intent to participate and record the data and then report that to the Department of Education. Students must demonstrate proficiency in one or more languages in addition to demonstrating proficiency in English. Students that meet these requirements get a seal attached to their high school diplomas and a notation on their transcripts. To earn the seal, students must meet the following English requirements. Students must successfully complete all English language course requirements. This means that they must have four credits of English courses on their high school transcripts. They must also maintain a 2.0 grade point average out of a 4.0 scale in their English language arts classes. Then they must pass an end of course exam. What does this mean? It is actually outlined very specifically in Arizona Revised Statute 15-755. Basically, the statute states that an end of course exam must be, quote, nationally normed written test of English that is given to all Arizona public school children. It also states that an end of course exam must be selected by the Office of the State Superintendent of Public Instruction and should remain constant year after year. As the law is stated, this means an end of course exam cannot be a district normed summative final as these are not normed nationally or throughout the state, nor is a district final given to all Arizona students, nor is it selected by the state superintendent of public instruction. And lastly, if a student's primary language was not English, then they do have the option of passing an English proficiency exam like Azela while they are in high school. They cannot have passed this exam in elementary school and have it count for the SEAL. To earn the SEAL, students must also meet the following second language requirements. Students must demonstrate proficiency through an assessment method approved by the State Board of Education. These include AP language exams, IB exams, ACTFL assessment of performance towards proficiency in languages or APPLE exams, standards-based measurement of performance or stamp exams, actful oral proficiency interviews or OPIs, Cambridge International exams at the AS level, the Navajo SEAL, National SEAL of bilingual proficiency assessments. The category of the language dictates what test options are available. If no assessment exists or if the test is cost prohibitive or difficult to administer, then a portfolio is an option after approval from the state. An example of this would be ASL. The exam is quite expensive and is not widely offered, so a portfolio is the best option to prove proficiency. Districts or schools must submit an alternative methods form by November 1st. Districts will complete an intent to participate form by November 1st of each school year. If you have a language like ASL that needs an alternative method of proficiency, you will also need to fill out an alternative method of proficiency form by November 1st of that school year as well. And lastly, all districts and schools will need to complete and submit a final reporting form to the Department of Education submitted within 90 days of the last day of school of students that meet the requirements for the seal of biliteracy. Our goals of the Department of Ed for the Seal of Biliteracy are as follows. We want to increase the number of districts and charter schools that participate in the Seal. We also would like to increase the total number of Seals awarded. We want to increase participation in rural areas of Arizona. We also want to collect data on the number of dual language immersion programs in the state. We'd like to provide more support and professional development for language teachers and increase the participation in dual language immersion programs across the state. We also are advocates for the seal of biliteracy to count as a component of the school A through F accountability score. 
And last, we want to support all policy changes that promote biliteracy. Thank you for watching our video on the overview of the Seal of Biliteracy. Check out some of our other items on our website along with additional resources, and also sign up for our monthly newsletter. For questions or concerns, please contact either Tammy Waller at tammy.waller at azed.gov or Linda Burrows at lynda.burrows at azed.gov or visit the Arizona Department of Education World Languages website. Thank you.